Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. The last one Leo for the month of July. Uh, let's see what's the message here for my lions and my lionesses. And uh, well a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in all the newcomers. So let's begin. Oh, starting with the Empress. Justice in reverse. Strength, upright, wonderful. Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, my God, and the Hermit in reverse, and the Ten of Wands. Mm, somebody is busy uh, manifesting a great life for themselves here. Beautiful life. I mean, an Empress uh, is somebody who doesn't chase, right? This is somebody who, who, even if people do them wrong, they pick themselves up pick up their strength and make things balanced and back in their own life, cutting away anything or whatever doesn't suit them. Yes, I think this person has been stuck for a very long time, maybe mm, with somebody who was uh, not very nice, maybe treated them like a third party or something or like just a friend. Um, I think this empress is the one who's dropping a person who was not emotionally open or at least thinking about it. Let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards for you, um, Leo. Let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other now, what that would be, and then I'm going to clarify these. Leo and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? A few more Leo from another deck. Leo and their person, Leo and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Thank you. And just a few more Leo from a third deck as well. Leo and their person spirit, Leo and their person. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading, Leo. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, Leo, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. You were always my desire, the love of my life. But I didn't tell you. It shocked the hell out of me when you told me you felt the same, as I never expected that. You're all I want, but I just don't feel good enough for you. I've always loved you and I always will. From the very first moment I looked into your eyes, I knew that you were my eternal love. Whether together or apart, I feel a prisoner of your heart. You're all I want, my everything. I don't want to be free, for we are chained together in love. I love you not only for your beauty, but also for your soul. Our, soul will be, our love will be alive forever because of the way you are. Pure, true, authentic, real, raw and passionate. Allow me to work on me, so I, so I can work on us. I get so annoyed with your constant need to control everything and denial of your triggers. If I upset you, I want you to be honest with me, but you use silence as manipulation to gain control. We should be able to talk it out, like grown-ups. I know that you stalk me on social media and use other sources to gain, gather information about me after you've chosen to ghost me. It's so not cool. If you want to know anything about my life, you should step up and be involved in it. Deliver me from temptation. You deserve much more than what I could give you at the time. I feel ashamed of how I treated you. You did not deserve that. I'm still healing. I want to fight for this connection, but I just don't know how. I seek strength and courage. I look at your pictures for hours on end. You're still so beautiful to me. All right, so Leo, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels are going to bless my lions and my lionesses with today. A blessing, guidance, advice or just a message. Here it is. 
and the message I have here for you the card says speak your truth Empress I think this is for you now somebody needs to just stand up for themselves and take back their power here right maybe somebody was dealing with the a very emotionally you know somebody who was just playing mind games or just being ruthless or just being rude and mean I think somebody standing the other person is now speaking their truth and standing up for themselves and said I don't take bullshit yeah all right so spirit tell me uh, first card is the empress so how about we give this empress the mic empress with all my respect to you uh, mic is with you what would you like to say to Leo's reading today empress Empress says I'm holding back now. I'm holding back. This uh, this connection put me through a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights. But I'm cutting away the past. I'm cutting away anything that was not balanced or that was not just. I was breadcrumbed and here I was looking for a partner who would give me equal give and take. So yes, I'm calling judgment or justice on this. And yeah, this was not... Uh, this was not right for me. I'm ending the situation um, because, well, once I end this, I can move into self-love. I can move into new love. I've been stuck in the situation for a very long time, but now I'm taking my power back. Strength. What's the strength card? What's the strength card? I think there, there was love here, but I think uh, the Empress says my, my person was playing emotional games with me. They were never really open emotionally with me. They treated me like just an option in their life. They kept me all confused. They didn't make me feel like an Empress. They, uh, I mean, I, I loved them. I had a lot of love for them. I know they loved me too, but it was just so confusing all the time because they never stepped up and took any responsibility for this connection. Like I was giving them all my love and they were playing games with me or just keeping me emotionally stuck on them while treating me like an option. They never really leveled up. And that's why Om Khara Taro, now I'm now putting a lid on that cup of love as well and I'm giving it to myself. I'm cutting away anything or anyone who's not going to be open hearted like me or, you know, honest with me. Yes, I'm putting this to an end. Absolutely. Uh, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I think this Empress is the one who's putting a spoke in that wheel of fortune and saying that this is justice now. Now this is justice because this was just spinning in the wrong direction. I don't want to be uh, just an option in their life. I don't want to be a friend or a friends with benefits or, you know, be with a person who's always going to have third parties. I'm much stronger than that. I'm not going to deal with somebody who's that immature, you know, who's just, just such a miser. They are, they, they put you know importance to everything else in their life like their you know 3d material things and their car is more important than me i am pulling my my energy back from somebody who's just not evolving you know this connection or themselves to be part of a beautiful love connection at one time i did see them as an equal match but now there is some clarity where i feel that they are just keeping things up in the air because they don't want to make a decision or they're juggling me or something. Uh, King of Swords in reverse. What's the King of Swords? I think this is still the Empress. The Empress is kind of saying, I now realize that they were just playing mind games with me. All their rude behavior, their mean behavior. It was just a way of not offering me, uh, you know, emotions because once you give emotions then you have to give commitment and whatever right so the empress says yeah they, they they were just not available their emotions were shut off their heart was closed off they just created fights and they were arrogant they were rude they didn't respect me and they just kept uh, hurting me making unwise and foolish choices and all they did was give me a lot of heartbreak they just continued to behave like a player and you know uh, be footloose and fantastic fancy free and I'm just a player and uh, that's the reason Omkara Taro I'm dropping this connection I'm done I'm not going to carry all the weight of this connection ten of wands and uh, first tell me uh, what's the hermit in reverse what were the foolish choices working with others having third parties could be anything their job was more important or like I said their car was more important or the you know they had to change their uh, 
music system in their car one day that was more important than you know respecting me anything basically person the empress says no nah, i can't i can't be uh, in a connection which is always going to have so much trouble i'm moving on i'm moving on towards peace and happiness and dropping this connection now i'm done carrying all the weight of this connection ten of wands in reverse Ten of Wands. Yeah, uh, this Empress is ready for a passionate, brand new beginning. I think that's what they're they are manifesting. Yes, they're looking into their future, seeing what else is out there after turning their back and saying, "All right, universe, bring it on, bring it on. I'm ready for some passion back in my life after ending something." So, spirit, what's the magician, and why is it the overall energy for Leo's reading? Uh, the Sun card. I think once this decision is made, this empress is manifesting complete happiness for themselves. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to be treated like an option. I will make my own choices from now on, and I'm starting with shutting down a chapter, shutting down a chapter, manifesting a brand new one. I'm not going to be settling with a person who is a false emperor or who, you know, is just. being controlling or stubborn or just wanting to be one up over me i'm an empress they're an emperor so we have to be on the same level i'm i'm actually manifesting somebody who will be a true match and if this person was always fighting or you know creating conflict or making me chase them then this is not a soulmate and if it was this contract is null and void all right so that's what the somebody is speaking up for themselves That's what I have for you Leo till next time then love and light take care namaste